Okay, let's take up a question on uh, special purpose books. I have put down a question here, so we'll be recording these transactions in the special purpose books. So it's a complete question here, and uh, we have already done uh, all the special purpose books. So let's do a question wherein all the special purpose books are involved. Now. The transactions are as follows: Mrs. Amita started business with cash. Machinery purchase from Golden Furnishes. Purchase goods for cash. Purchase goods from Nikita Associates for rupees fifty thousand. Trade discount ten percent. Sold goods for cash seventy five thousand. Sold goods to Major and Sons for rupees eighty thousand. Goods returned to Nikita Associates ten thousand. Goods returned by Major and Sons worth rupees fifteen thousand. Paid salary, paid rent. Purchase stationery on credit from Neetu and Company. Furniture depreciated by ten percent. Insurance premium prepaid. Now we have to enter these transactions in the appropriate uh, special purpose books. So first of all, let's see. I have made the uh, cash book here, the format of the cash book. This is. Uh, date particulars amount now let's see what are the transactions which will come here first one is miss amita started business with cash So here, this is a receipt for the business in cash, right? So here we'll have first January. Two capital account. The amount given here is five lakh rupees, right? So it will come here. Now the next transaction, January third, machinery purchase from Golden Furnishers worth rupees one lakh. Now machinery purchase from Golden Furnisher, this is a credit purchase, but this is not a credit purchase of goods. This is a credit purchase of assets, right? So it will go into the journal proper. So I have made the journal proper here. So we will have to put this in the journal proper as this is. Purchase of asset on credit. If it had been purchase on goods, purchase of goods on credit, it would have gone into the purchases book. Here it is. Purchase of machinery, so it is journal proper, right? So the date given here is January third, and the amount is one lakh. This is one lakh rupees. Now look at the next transaction. Purchase goods for cash. Now this is a cash purchase. Purchase goods for cash. So that is uh, January fifth and fifty thousand rupees. So it will come in the cash book. Right. January fifth buy purchases fifty thousand rupees. Right. Purchase goods from Nikita Associates for rupees fifty thousand. Trade discount ten percent. Now this is purchasing of goods on credit, right? So this will go into the purchases book. Now the date is January tenth, right? So here we'll have January tenth, and here I'll write Nikita Associates, right? It's fifty thousand less ten percent trade discount.
less 10% trade discount so 10% on 50,000 is 5,000 rupees so I'll have to deduct 5,000 here and then put it in the amount column so this is basically 45,000 right okay hmm. now next entry sold goods for cash 75,000 on January 15 this is this is cash sales right so 15th January two sales account 75,000 rupees now the next one is the credit sales sold goods to major and sons worth rupees 80,000 so now this will go into the sales book here I'll write the amount is 80,000 there is no trade discount nothing is mentioned here so just put the amount as it is right so this is 80,000 80,000 like this if there had been any trade discount it would have been deducted as we have done it in the purchases book right okay now the next one January 21st goods returned to Nikita Associates we had bought the goods from Nikita Associates now we are going to return it so this is purchase returns right so see here purchase returns book um, the date is January 21st and the amount is 10,000 right first one is the details column and this is the amount column right in the details column we deduct the trade discount if there is any right in this case nothing is mentioned so just put it like that then goods returned by major and sons worth rupees 15,000 January 24th sales return January 24th here I'll have major and sons return goods worth return goods worth 15,000 rupees okay then the next thing is January 25th paid salary 20,000 this will come in the cash book right so January 26th by by salary account 20,000 January 27th paid rent 10,000 So this is buy rent account 10,000 furniture depreciated by 10% now this has got nothing to do with any of these special books that is uh, your purchases book or uh, cash book or whatever this is basically a journal entry which will come in the journal proper right so here furniture depreciated by 10% that is a depreciation on the furniture right so here you will have depreciation is basically a loss so depreciation account will be debited right debit all expenses and losses and here I am writing furniture this is uh, we are purchasing a machinery not a furniture so this is machinery depreciated by 10% the cost of the machinery is 1 lakh so 10% on that comes to 10,000 rupees right so here in the journal we will write this entry 
29 January depreciation account depreciation account debit to machinery account that is 10,000 rupees right then there is one more entry here one more transaction insurance premium prepaid when the insurance premium is prepaid you are you are giving an expense in advance right ok mm -hmm. so that is prepaid insurance will be debited and insurance account will be credited fine this is again something which will come in the journal proper 30th January fine The amount is 10,000 rupees. So, these are the three transactions which will come in the journal proper. Appropriate uh, narrations should be written for them, and the other transactions we have put in the proper book. So, this was our uh, cash book. All the transactions relating to the cash book have come here. Now, you can uh, close this cash book. Fine. The amount on the debit side is 5,75,000. And here it is. So, on uh, by balance carried down, this is fifty plus twenty, seventy plus ten, eighty. So five lakh seventy-five thousand minus eighty thousand. That is four lakh ninety-five thousand will be your balance here. Fine. So, the cash book is uh, balanced and then February 1st we will have like this right. As for the other books, this is purchases account, purchases account is always a debit. So, this is the only transaction that we have here. So, here we will write. purchases account debit 45,000 and uh, sorry sales account credit 80,000 rupees right similarly for the purchase returns and the sales return purchase return is always a credit and sales return is a debit. So, here you will write purchase returns account, purchase returns is a credit and uh, sales return is a debit right. So, here you will have whatever is the total sales return account debit 15,000 rupees right that is it. Now, once all these things are done then all the balances we have put here then the next step is to transfer all these balances to the appropriate ledger accounts. So, here we have taken up a complete example in which we have seen a question we have uh, seen a question in which transactions pertaining to all the subsidiary books are there and the transaction suitable to each special purpose books have been entered in their appropriate books right. So, with that I will come to the end of this session bye.